I watched some old replays of you, says Nylorado from 25, and I noticed you weren't doing things like body blocking units that you could have killed. Was this not used at the time? So I was familiar with the techniques for it, but I did it differently. Nowadays, I do lots of right clicks in front of a unit. Whereas back then, I did right click and stop. So I needed two hands. Now I only need one. I kept doing like stop, 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 because I thought that's how it should be done. And it worked really well as well. And in fact, to some degree, it's better because you can put a unit almost to a standstill. Instead of blocking them and slowing their path, they would almost stand still entirely. Um, but uh, it needed a lot of attention, even to the point where you would not make as many buildings or control other things. And so... Maybe sometimes I just was just too busy. Not fast enough or whatever. Or thinking of other things. Orcs are ugly? I, I don't think so, Mark guys. I think they're beautiful. Ready to work. Okay, we need more gold. Happy to We need more gold with you love. Yes. Kirby, what was the biggest patch impact for you in your professional career? We need more gold. We need more gold. Uh, <laughs> I would probably say when they removed collision from a blade master in Windwalk. Though I didn't realize it immediately. Remind is being known for being great at Night of Mirror. Do orcs have such equivalents amongst themselves? Fly. Something need doing? Be happy to. Ready to work. We've all beaten each other Working during both phases and individual games. But I think overall, people, yes. and I'm talking about the pro gamers here, is... Uh, was respecting his team fights in Orc vs Orc the most. influence did balance patches have back in the days? I don't really remember. Uh, here's Bimbo. They had a lot of influence, particularly in the sense that they shook up the meta. Yes, 
Yes, yes, yes. I need to buy time. Good, good, good. Sure, run away, but I think someone in the chat will know. Excellent choice. What do you want? Yes, Lord. Yes. What something like W three A solo history or something? Exclamation yours. mark. Yes. Huh? I oh. am yours. What do you want? Yes. Something can we do? Not sure run away. Probably probably that's a bot made by W3 Arena themselves. And it pulls it straight pulls it straight from the database. That's uh over my know-how. I feel like this start is so good for me. <laughs> it just got better. He does have dust. Just got worse. Much worse. Who needs a hero? Something weird with my hotkeys. So, uh, turtle probably dead by now. Oh. Uh, hex is usual as a first skill pre ult as, as opposed to healing wave because it offers more control in the team fights. Yes, 
of that is he has a much bigger army even though i killed archmage it is not worth what i lost too many small fights it's a dream for you and Need Katas? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Kata, Katas usually isn't the answer. You think it's the answer, but usually you'll find that it's not. Um, generally, as a rule, you should try to make Katas only once you get to 55 food. Otherwise, you don't have enough buffer for that. Like 40 foot katas is, is really bad because it's easy to micro against. Oh, I think he's doing the other shot probably. No, I don't think trebuchets is the answer to. Nice. So lucky. Yay. Oh, my favorite item. Not my favorite item, by the way. Uh, I think at this point, the most important thing is to creep as much and fast as possible, and also don't get caught. Almost broke rule number two. He's probably doing the red spot now, not knowing that I already have it. Yes, 
Very cool game, cool fights. I'm gonna cancel that walker for a grunt. Uh, let's see, invul, double invul, one blizzard. I am one. Something. 
Oh, GG, very well played, nice, nice game. Let's take a look at the replay. When he, when I, yeah, when I saw he had expansion, I was like, oh man, that's hard. Need to send some stuff there to attack the peasants. Ready to work. Ready to Let's work. take a look. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. I want to see the first three things where it went wrong. Like late game micro is one thing, but let's look at the first three big things that went wrong. Oftentimes in the course of a game, I condition myself to forget about everything bad that happened so that I can uh, uh, have full confidence that I can win. But once I look back, I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I remember that was freaking horrible. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll try to avoid that situation. So he got an effortless creeping, but I got the uh, watch reward, which is really nice. Okay, then I saw that he took it and I chased for a while. But not well enough. I got the item, but he got, I got the creep and he got the item got a footman and then I kind of lost him 
And he just went to do some basic camps here. It's kind of okay. Got one little basic camp and I got this whole one. So I would say overall really good trade for me. And then he went for gentlemanly mounted king and casters, which normally I say is a mistake. But he made it work, so what, what can you say, right? Uh, got a nice camp here, gave me blade 3. In the meantime, he was setting up for the turtle 7. And I think this is the first most fateful moment. I steal a creep and I kill an elemental. So far, so good. The shadow hunter surround that I was unable to break free from. Because I wasn't inside the shadow enough and then okay well see i forgot about this but i lost both of my heroes at seven minutes and then when i killed his mountain king i didn't have a hero to buy xp killed a few more units and i did not lose anything but again no xp for it then lost the grunt which he did get xp for and i had to rebuy my blade from tavern so i would say that is the number one most glaring issue the steel was nice on the turtle, the water elemental kill was nice, but then I went too deep. I moved everything in, including my shadow, who was the most vulnerable target. Was still maybe able to save him, but I didn't have enough blade mana, so I think I should have just let him go, possibly. Um, or yeah, better yet, never get in that situation. I feed him a lot of XP and money, and now suddenly I'm down in food, when I should have been well on the way to 50 food, instead. I'm stuck at 36 and hurt and not creeping and my shadow is level 2 forever so looking back I will uh, I will need to make sure never to go too hard on the harass especially knowing that it's closer to his base and he gets his casters before I get mine that is number one and nor typically that will be the number one analysis thing that I look at is the first big mistake then this fight I lose a grunt I nearly lose a raider. I nearly lose a raider and the walker again. Raider comes back and I lose it. No, I did, didn't. I do lose my archmage. Of, uh, I kill an archmage, but then I lost that raider. And then I lost this grunt. And everything is hurt and 1 HP. So even though I did not lose the rest, he still gets a 2.7 Mountain King and I'm Shadow 2 from Blade 3. Back to 43 food, so is he. I did get the Archmage, he did rebuy it, which is nice for me. But right off the back of that, he got a huge camp. And off the back of that, I got a small camp. Then we did steal the Ogre Mage and all of the items, which is great. We then went away. And uh, funny, by the way, he's walking around with peasants. He gets the Turtle 7, I get the Ogre Lord 7, and it's great. At this moment onwards, I feel. No matter what happened, you always have a chance to win. Yet, look at the levels. 4.2, 3.5. And I am 3.5, well, 3.7 and 3.4. My investment is 50 food with another burrow coming, one attack upgrade. I don't have heal scroll yet, but I can sell this for 400 gold. I can then buy TP heal scroll and I can afford one more burrow. And soon after, I'll be able to go over 50. He is at 50 with 800 gold. That just goes to show kind of the deficit that I've built up over the course of mistakes that I've been making. So I'm behind both in the implied army size as well as the current gold, which is what implies the army size. He's already got better items. Potion of Invul Greater, Scroll of the Beast, Heal Scroll, and I only have nothing. And then he has TP and I don't. He's got all that gold. So he is very far ahead now, even though I always feel like I have a chance when I get to this food camp. 50 food with upgrade and pillage. We then kind of meet here. I nearly get called. Very lucky not to lose a Kodo. Um, he's, he's going over 50 because he's got a nice bank. I start this camp and then I almost get called. Not quite. But most importantly, I get corralled back in my base. And we had this long epic... I don't know, 5 to 10 minute fight? But it should be remembered, it's under poor conditions. My Shadow Hunter has 330 because I didn't pick up a lot of tones of intelligence, because I didn't go here and there to get some creeps. He got slightly more creeps. But there isn't that many tones of intelligence on this map anyway. So you really rely on that pendant of energy. His Mountain King is in a similar boat as my Shadow. But most importantly, he's slightly higher XP than me. Wait, is that still the case? No, I kind of made a comeback. It's mostly the army size. Um, 
I'm at 50 with another 10 coming. And he's at 60. Of which 6 is still coming. He's also bringing all militia. And he's got heal scroll. And don't forget about this one. Scroll regeneration is... It's very unassuming, but it was huge. He used it when everything was 30 to 50% life. Anyway, long epic fight. I go for the mandatory hero focus because of how out of position he was. And I lacked raider positioning in its snare cooldown to do a follow up. In theory, what should have happened here is I focus Mountain King, he uses invul, I do it again, I kill it. I lose a lot, but at least Mountain King is gone. And then he will lose a lot of DPS. The reason that didn't happen is because it wasn't a lesser invulnerability. It was a greater invul. And so I was waiting, 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 and nothing happened. I should have clicked it, of course, before. Yeah, then I lost too much. He did a very good job of microing back and forth to keep shifting the battle lines and make use of Blizzard and Slow. As a result, he was able to defeat me quite handily. Why no katas? Uh, katas are nice when you get over 60 food, but until that time they are poor investment because they do not spirit link, which makes your entire army more vulnerable. They do not heal scroll and they're slow, so they don't creep well. Um, and they cost money to repair. They are four food instead of three. They can't get heal waved. There's so many things against demos and there's a few things for them. They also can get out micro if he keeps moving his casters. But they are strong, it's true, they can kill casters. But again, if I am putting all of my damage on Breakers and, and Mountain King, which generally is going to happen because of the nature of my army, his Breakers are going to get hurt and snared when he moves back, if I have enough Raiders, which I didn't really have. Um, and his casters are not taking any damage at all. It's just how it goes because they're in the back. And you can't micro to get in the back unless you're in a very wide battlefield. And so... Uh, in my demos will have to do the entire work of taking down priests and sorks by themselves uh, which they are not taking any kind of other damage except spreading a little bit of mountain king damage from the stolen spirit link to the casters so it's not like i'm finishing off half-life casters they have to do the whole thing themselves uh, why don't you use bat riders versus casters very poor uh hp and damage stats every name is busy Bats are really poor fighting units. My eyes are of course. Right away. How may I sell my counter? Dabby's choice, man. 